to make my breakfast. That's Ariel. Make my breakfast. And um, so in Thailand, we make this dish all the time. Like it's almost like peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? So you don't know what you're gonna eat. You're gonna eat peanut butter and sandwich, but the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But this dish is called Kai Tio, so it's like a Thai scrambled egg over the rice, topped with sriracha. It's delicious, and I will show you how I cook it. And it's super quick, super easy. Let's get started. Okay, first we need two eggs. This is just for one person. So if you have, you know, you cook for more people, then make more, but it's just enough for one dish. One serving. Next, shallot or red onion. I don't have red onion right now, so this is what I'm. You only need maybe like half of it. I don't know. It's basically so. This one, there's so many ways to make it. Okay, some people just put the red onion in there. That's it, or some ground pork. This one, the one that I'm making, is have a lot of everything in it. Next, I put, I have leftover jalapeno, so I'm gonna put jalapeno in there. Okay. And I want to put some Thai chili in there, so. Um, here we go, I have some rice. Red pepper, you like spicy, you not like spicy. Like I said, this one, you can just do egg and onion or just egg by itself. With all the sauce that I'm going to put in later, it's gonna be delicious, right? So, so the one that I make right now, we have, it called Kai Jiao. And the stuff that you put in, like more stuff you put in, it's going to call Kai Tio Song Kheung, mean like, Kheung mean like there's so much stuff in it. So I have cilantro in here. Gonna add some cilantro in there. Every Thai food is good with cilantro, right? Watch this a little bit. Okay. Broccoli chop, right? Okay, let's go in there. Okay. Next, I have some green onion that I go. See? So when I buy a green onion, I cut the end and then tie it with the, the, the what's called the string. And I just put it in the water, change the water every, every two days, and it's go back, right? Why wasting stuff? Okay, so this will be good, okay? Wash that. And it's going in. Like I said, again, you can put anything in here, okay? So these are basic stuff that I always put in there. Okay. And it can look like this. So next, we're going to add soy sauce, fish sauce, seasoning sauce, some oyster sauce. Come on, okay. That's a little too much, but it's fine. Some white pepper. And whip it up. Thai style, whip it up. Okay. Whip it up. Okay, so I'm going to whip this up and we're gonna get our wok hot. Okay, so I have my wok here. It's better with wok, trust me. This is Thai, Thai omelet, Thai omelet style. Um, it's better with wok, okay? While I'm, wait, and while I'm waiting for the, the wok to get hot, we just gonna shoot, whip it up. Okay. And I always smell it. If it smell right, it's good. Like I said again, this is one serving. I don't really mean like you can make it too, but I like one, so I like all eggs. So I have cooked rice, you know. Every Asian house always have cooked rice. I just microwave that, right? While we're waiting, so now we're gonna put oil in there. Oil. Let me show you. That's my wok. 
Okay. So I have to walk in my house. Okay. So basically just get oil enough to cover the bottom of your walk. Okay. You can see that. All right. I'm going to talk to you and then we you up. So in my house I have to walk. One for spicy food. The other one is just for basic food because when you my so i eat a lot of spicy food like super hot so if i use the same wok it take me so many times to wash my wok in order to get rid of that spicy it's a there's no matter what i do is I, I can't even the hot water is still you still get that spicy okay all i look like our wok is getting hot Let's cook it. Okay, so you want to wait until you see the smoke come out and you see the bottom. I have oil to enough to coat the bottom. Okay, and this is our eggs. And it's going in. Oh, yes. You see that golden color around it? That's what you want. So now you want to turn it down, right? So it's cooked. You guys, just do this. All right, you gotta do it while it's not formed yet. That's where you don't burn the bottom of it. So while we're ready, we gotta get my rice on the plate. Okay, here you see that now it stopped kind of cooking a little bit because we turn it down. So now we want to turn it up a little bit but not too high so you kind of want to cook the egg still but not burn it you know what i'm you know what i mean okay okay looks good right isn't that good that look like a goodness stuff for me can't wait to eat it so like when we don't know what we're gonna eat and you know, every house in Thailand always have eggs, right? We always have eggs in the house. So this is the kind of dish that we always cook. Like late at night, we know we have eggs, we have cooked rice, so we make this. Okay, our egg is done. Here we go. How quick is that, right? Look at that, it's so yummy. The smell, I wish you can smell it so good so we're gonna put sriracha on it right all over like that okay and top it with cilantro and now it's time to eat okay so that is super quick right okay now we're gonna eat it see so get some rice get some cilantro in there Okay, and gonna go in. Okay, going in. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. Get spicy in there, some chili, cilantro in there. Oh my god, the onion. Delicious. Mm. So. If you don't know what to make for breakfast, for you tomorrow or lunch, make one of these. Okay? So good. Um, you can use, if you don't use a lot of oil, so the important, you need oil, right? So you can do um, the olive oil. You can do canola oil. I don't recommend the coconut oil, but I mean the good amount of oil, not too much oil like deep fry that that not that too much i only have it enough to coat the the bottom of my wok but mm, it's so good all right give it a try and let me know what you think